Gymnastics is a highly competitive Olympic level sport. Today we are going to look at gymnasts who were forced to retire due to career ending injuries. What prompted Sean Johnson's shock retirement? Why did King Kohei retire after the Tokyo Olympics? What is the inspiring story of Adriana Duffy? Stick around till the end and we'll tell you all you need to know. First up we have Sean Johnson. In 2012, Olympic gold medalist Sean Johnson announced her retirement. This announcement was a shock since she was a contender for a top spot at the London Olympic Games. At the 2008 Olympic Games in Beijing, she won four medals, and fans expected that 2012 was going to be her year. However, she was beset by injuries after blowing her knee during a 2010 skiing accident. She had torn her ACL, MCL, hamstring, and meniscus, so she had a long road to recovery. However, despite taking the time, she never returned to full strength. She felt like her body was just falling apart. She had undergone two knee surgeries, and it was looking like she needed a third surgery as well. At that point, it became a question of whether she was putting her long-term health at risk by taking part in the sport any longer. She said, quote, it just gets worse and worse, unquote. She stated that she had to retire in order to be healthy for the rest of her life. In the meanwhile, she appeared on the show Dancing with the Stars and was a winner in season eight. She also participated in the All-Stars season held in 2012. She also went on to appear in shows like Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, Celebrity Apprentice, and Family Feud. Next up, let's look at Kohei Uchimura. Kohei Uchimura, also known as King Kohei, is a Japanese gymnast. He recently announced his retirement after struggling with injuries for the past few years. This 33-year-old is a three-time Olympic gold medalist and was regarded as one of the best male gymnasts of all time. For over a decade, he dominated the sport. In the Beijing Olympics, he won two silver medals. Later, in the London Olympics in 2012, he won two silver medals and one gold medal. In the 2016 Olympics, he won two gold medals. In 2015, he suffered ligament damage on both his ankles and injuries on both of his shoulders. During the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, he suffered a shock exit. This time around, he chose to focus only on one apparatus due to shoulder issues. However, he slipped during a pirouette. It was pretty much the end of his time at the Olympics. Now, due to persistent injuries, he had no choice but to retire. To commemorate his career and Olympic achievements, the Japan-based messaging app Line released NFTs featuring Kohei Uchimura. Another gymnast whose career was cut short by injuries is Samantha Sirio. Samantha was a promising Auburn University gymnast. She was a part of the gymnastics team, the Auburn Tigers, and they were aiming for a spot in the NCAA regional finals. During a floor routine in 2019, she suffered a shocking leg injury. The video of the incident went viral on social media and stunned the community. During her routine, she landed on awkwardly and fell. Her legs crumbled beneath her. She dislocated both her knees and broke her leg. She had to be carried out of the arena with both her legs in air casts. In an Instagram post, she wrote that after 18 years as a gymnast, she was leaving the sport behind. She then had to undergo surgery and had a painful recovery. Through sheer will and determination, a month after her injury, she attended her graduation ceremony and collected her degree in aerospace engineering from Auburn University. She then joined Boeing in Seattle as a structural design analyst. She also walked down the aisle in 2019 and married her fiancé in a beautiful wedding ceremony. It does seem like she has overcome the challenges she faced. Now let's look at what happened to Andrea Maldonada. Andrea Maldonada was the first female gymnast to successfully complete a triple forward twist in floor exercises. She had a promising career ahead of her. However, at the age of 23, she tore her Achilles. She was left with no option but to retire from the sport. She announced her retirement by way of an Instagram post in March 2022. Another famous gymnast who suffered from a career-ending injury is Carrie Strug. Carrie Strug is a retired American gymnast. She was a member of the 1996 United States Olympic women's gymnastics team, which was called the Magnificent Seven. She participated in the 1992 Barcelona Olympics at the age of 14. During the Olympics, she won a team bronze medal. During the 1996 Atlanta Olympics, the women's team gymnastics event boiled down to a close competition between the Russian and American teams. Her teammates struggled to land clean vaults, and another teammate fell twice. Strug was the last to vault for the United States. During her first attempt, she under-rotated, resulting in a fall and injury to her ankles. Before her second vault, she questioned whether it was worth making a second attempt. Her coach convinced her to make another attempt. So, Strug limped on to make her second attempt. After performing the vault, she briefly landed on both feet and then was forced to 
shift her weight to her only good foot. She then collapsed on the ground and had to be assisted off the landing platform. The Americans ended up winning the gold medal. However, Strug was severely injured and immediately carried away to a hospital tent. During the awards ceremony, her team refused to accept the award since she could not be present. She was then carried on to the podium. The injury she suffered ended her career, which had started at the age of eight. After her retirement, Strug went on to complete her master's degree in sociology from Stanford. At present, she is involved in promoting gymnastics at the community level. Now let's look at the troubles faced by Sam McCulloch. Sam McCulloch is a retired American Olympic gymnast. He is a six-time U.S. national all-around champion. However, he was not able to make his mark in the Olympics. In the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, he placed sixth in the parallel bars final. Commentators have said that he was one of the best gymnasts in the world. He was forced to retire due to a wrist injury and health issues at the age of 27. He started to notice wrist inflammation in 2020 and he required a cortisone shot to heal. However, even after that, his wrist condition worsened. During the pandemic, he was not doing gymnastics, but the inflammation returned. He then stopped working out for a month to see if there was a difference, but it was to no avail. After consulting with a doctor, he was told that he would need cortisone shots for the rest of his career. After that juncture, he decided that it would be his final year in gymnastics. He stated that he was looking forward to doing things he had put aside due to his gymnastic career. Sadly, his dreams of making a name during the Olympics remained unfulfilled. Next, we have Trinity Thomas. Trinity Thomas was another American gymnast whose career was impacted by ankle injuries. In 2021, Trinity Thomas had two objectives. The first was to compete for an NCAA championship, and the second was to make it into Team USA for the Tokyo Olympics. She injured both her ankles and was forced to retire from elite gymnastics. Next, let's see what happened to Jacoby Miles. In 2012, the world was shocked when they saw the plight of Jacoby Miles. She was a promising young gymnast who was on the cusp of Olympics level proficiency. However, while practicing a double backflip, a routine she had done many times before, she landed on her neck. After she landed, she was unable to feel anything below her chest. She dislocated her C4 vertebrae and became a quadriplegic. Over time, she regained some movement in her arms, but she is likely to be confined to her wheelchair for the rest of her life. In the meanwhile, she graduated from Seattle Pacific University. She said that sometimes she would struggle to sense where she was while doing a double backflip. During such times, she would tell herself that it was okay and that it was just a phase. When her accident took place, she felt the same feeling and had no idea where she was when her hand released the bar. Similarly, Adriana Duffy, a Puerto Rican gymnast, slipped while performing a practical vault during the 1989 World Gymnastics Championships. She dislocated her neck and was left a quadriplegic. However, this did not dissuade her. She went on to complete her law degree and is currently an associate professor at Santa Clara University. Lastly, let's look at what happened to Elena Mukina. Elena Mukina was a Soviet gymnast whose career was on the rise during the 1970s. She won the all-round title at the 1978 World Championships. In 1979, she broke her leg. However, she was rushed back from injury in order to compete in the 1980 Moscow Summer Olympics. Just two weeks before the Olympics, during a practice session, she crash-landed on her chin. The impact snapped her spine and she was left a quadriplegic. She then tragically passed away in 2006 due to complications arising from her injury. And that's a wrap. We have looked at injuries that made gymnasts retire. What do you think of Kohei Uchimura's career? Why do gymnasts face such career-threatening injuries? Let us know your thoughts in the comments.